Ooh, this episode's so good, I gotta take my shoes off. Also because I stepped in Dookie earlier and I don't wanna track it through the carpet. I went on the www.thecomputer, which is my phone, .com forward slash the Safari app, and I looked up the recipe on how to make a bloomin' onion. Then I took that recipe and I ran it into Google Translate, and then I ran it back into English, and then I ran it into a different language, and then I rambled on for too long for an intro. Most of you are gone by now. Take your shoes off. If you're watching this with socks on, what? Gross. Why? Stop. Relax. <laughs> this isn't a business meeting. Take your socks off. <sighs> if you're still confused about what the show's about, just keep... I don't... Care. <laughs> so without a further ado, what diddy a diddy dum diddy do, we are going to start with step two. <laughs> it rhymed. We'll start with step one. Fine. I'm just glad to be back, man. I didn't go anywhere, but I'm just glad to be here, man. I love my job. Step one, cut the tip. Half inch of onion and peel. Just the tip? I feel like that's an appropriate step one. That's what they did to me when I was born. No, but seriously, you know what a bloomin' onion is though, right? I got onions because those are the main ingredient. I need a knife. Half inch, how about this much? Step two, cut the onion face down. Oops, just assume I did that. Step three, look at the pieces on the table in another way. Hmm, hi. Do you come here often? Hmm. Neither do I. Stab all four sides from onion's point of view. I'm sorry? It stabs a bit much from the onion's point of view. I'm so sorry. You know what? Once you stab something once, you kind of okay with it. I'm gonna be honest, there's way more than four stab marks. I lost control. Okay. Well, once I'm done grieving for the onion, we'll move on to step five. Turn the onion and carefully stab the outer part with your fingers. Shall I do it from your point of view or mine? Ow. Okay, step six. Oh, I didn't know the grieving process came in waves. Hold on. In a bowl. Powder, flour, spoon, chili, paprika, basil, oregano, cumin, half teaspoon of black pepper powder. Flour, spoon, chili, turn the heat on. That's a lot. Oof, he puts more. Paprika, basil. This is gonna be the most seasoned spoon ever. Oregano. <laughs> Step seven, in a smaller bowl, whisk eggs. Smaller bowl. In a smaller bowl, oh my god. Milk and one cup of water. This was the smaller bowl. Milk and water? I don't think this is big enough to mix any liquid. Well, now we know my floor can hold more than this bowl can. Why did we put water in the milk? It's reduced fat milk. It's basically already water. What do now? Put the onion in a separate bowl. I don't have any more bowls. And return the oil and vinegar. I just bought it. Reason for returning? I don't know. I'll be back. All I have is this teacup, which depending on how big you are, could be a bowl. So I have my four bowls of various sizes. Cover the dish with a bowl. I don't have any more bowls. <laughs> Cover the dish with a bowl and shake the flour by shaking it back and forth. Yeah, that's how you shake things. Cover the onion with the flour stuff, shake it. Okay, cover and shake. Nice. Make sure the onion is completely covered. I'm pretty sure I did the best I could for the sake of it. There. Lift the onion, turn it around, and beat the excess flour out of it. Say no more. Okay. Good. Keep a bowl of flour. Well, you told me to put it on the counter. Okay. Bowl of flour. Consider it kept. Use your fingers, if needed, to dig in egg mixture. It's completely mainstream. I don't like to be mainstream. It said nothing about the onion, but I'm pretty sure we didn't just make egg mixture for me to wash my hands in it. I see people doing this all the time. You're right. For the sake of making this better, remove excess eggs and repeat the process. How far back do you want me to repeat? For step one? Okay. <laughs> step one. What was step one? Oh yeah, circumcision. Here you go. Step two, cut the onion face down. You'd think I'd remember that. Step three, look at the pieces in a different way. Step four, stab off four sides from the onion's point of view. Yeah, I know it's worse when you think it's over. Turn the onion and carefully stab the outer parts with your fingers. <sighs> oh, it worked that time. In a bowl, flour, spoon, that stuff. In a smaller bowl, more eggs. Almost. And then in the tiny bowl, which for the life of me, I haven't been able to find for the past 20 something minutes, uh, milk and water. It's not gonna fit anymore. Just a dab will do ya. You don't listen. Put the onion in a separate bowl. Return the oil and vinegar. <laughs> I gotta go buy some oil and vinegar. Okay. Return it. Back to the store. Cover the dish with the bowl. Put the separate. Got it. I remember this goes in here. Put this in here. Perfect. Keep the flour bowl. Flour bowl. Make sure it's completely covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And beat the deadline. 
Back in the egg mixture, use your fingers if needed. We'll need them because it's completely mainstream. Remove excess eggs and repeat the process again. Warm onion oil in the refrigerator. You want me to go back to Safeway and buy the oil? I didn't buy any vinegar this time. Warm onion oil in the refrigerator. That's not how refrigerators work. Heat the oil, okay, so out of the fridge. Heat the oil temperature drops of seawater up to 400 degrees sauce. How about Sacramento tap water? It's all from the sea anyway. See? Water. <laughs> Heat the oil to 400 degrees. How will I know? That's gonna take an eternity. Beat excess fat with onion. I'm like 2% if anything. Maybe a little bit around the hips. With the onions, gently wipe the ground. Ugh. Oh, to clean up the mess. Smart. Almighty God, cleanse well and cook for three minutes. Three minutes until golden brown on it. Cleanse well, Pro yeah, probably. We wipe this on the floor and we're about to deep fry it. So cook for three minutes. Well, we have to wait for the oil. There's a couple ways to figure out if your oil's ready. One of them involves sticking your hand in there. <laughs> I'm gonna stand back here in the last step. Wash with paper towels, add salt and add. And add what? It looks great. I do remember we wiped this on the floor though. Hmm, I'm actually really surprised that all that seasoning we put in there didn't make it on the onion. That's gross. Hmm. <clears throat> if you want to see more Google Translate, don't worry, your bland blooming butt buckets, I've made a playlist. Did I make that in there? I wonder if I could return that oil now.